What is going on guys, Money Webby here, back again on Monday with my Money 6, my favorite 6 plays for the day. Disappointing night last night, some guys that really went off for us and looked like great cause was CJ McCollum, Trey Burke, and I mentioned Gerald Green, the Rockets bench, how I figured they would get more run in that blowout against the Hawks, and Gerald Green, and Joe Johnson as well, definitely returned some good value, Nene was a little bit disappointing. In the 15 minutes, only put up like three shots. Uh, kind of disappointing there. I was expecting him to put up some more shots, some easy scores against the Hawks bench, uh, but wasn't able to do that. So that kind of stuff. And also we had guys just go ice cold from the field. Bradley Beal and Paul George. Paul George, first of all, Figured he would bounce back. He literally shot 3 for 16 the game before this game on Sunday night. So I figured, hey, Paul George, he'll probably bounce back. Most shooters uh, don't just stay that cold for that long. So I figured he would. He shot 0 for 7 in that game as well from 3. Uh, so I was like, all right, good spot for him against the Trailblazers. It's a struggle against small forwards. But nope, couldn't hit a shot again. He went 0 for 6 from 3. So that is two games in a row. Paul George in total has shot 0 for 13 from 3. So congrats to Paul George. Very well done there the last two games. And also DeAndre Jordan, good spot against Toronto. I figured he would go off, um, get a, like a huge double-double there against Toronto. But Montrezl Harrell kind of stole the show from him on the bench. He almost put a double-double himself. Uh, so DeAndre, disappointing night there. Um, but like I said, Monday here. I like this slate, honestly, a little bit better. Some better games. The target should be more up, sco uh, higher scoring and better value on DraftKings here tonight. So we should have a nice bounce back here. And like I mentioned yesterday, we had 4,000 subscribers, so very happy about that. Now we can host that tournament for us here on Monday night. I already got the tournament set up. It's going to be a $5 entry fee to get into it. Uh, then I'm going to be doing top five people in the tournament. will get paid out. My uh, Obviously, my um, entry I won't put in the lineup, so that will kind of void that. So it will be kind of like a 199-person tournament. If we can fill that out, that would be great. So go ahead and comment your username for DraftKings. If you want to get into that, I'll be adding like $20 to first place and probably like $10 a second or something like that. So ups the ante a little bit. First place, first place is getting $270. So you'll get $290 if you do finish in first there. And that's a nice little payday for a $5 entry. So I'm excited to, to have that tournament tomorrow. So definitely comment your DraftKings username if you want to be a part of that. But also... Drop a like in the video before we get going to show some love to the videos. It really helps me out here. Let's try to get over 100 likes. Greatly uh, appreciative of all you guys and all the support you have shown me so I can keep these videos coming every single day. MLB season right around the corner. NBA has been a little up and down for me recently with these kind of like weird guys uh, kind of coming out of nowhere with the minutes, kind of flip-flopping here and there with some of these coaches. But I like the, the slate, honestly. There's some good games. Uh, the two games I'm really targeting here, as you'll see throughout the video, is the Lakers-Detroit game and the Denver-Philly game. Both these teams are both these games. Neither team is on a back-to-back. -back. Uh, they should be pretty fast-paced. Uh, higher scoring games and competitive, I believe. The Lakers and Detroit have still been playing um, like they're like still in the hunt for whatever reason. I think technically the Lakers might still be in the hunt. I think they're like think they can still make the playoffs, or whatever, and they want to get their young guys some more run. Like the, they're just getting like forty plus minutes. Some of these guys, and then the Denver Philly game. Denver is playing for a lot. Philly's playing for a better seed. So I like both of those games. Uh, Boston has a lot of value against Phoenix, obviously, but that cur that could turn into a blow. The Knicks uh, Hornets game is interesting. That should be another higher scoring game, uh, but I'm not sure exactly who I want to go in this game. I feel like it's more clear cut on the Lakers Detroit. So let's just get into the money six here. Uh, my first guy is going to be Ben Simmons at 8,800. The guy has shown massive upside the last couple of weeks here. 56 drafting points. Against Minnesota last game, similar team to Denver, uh, pretty good down low, um, but they do struggle a lot against point guards. That's the one spot you can really attack Denver. Well, not the one spot, but the easiest spot you can attack Denver is at the point guard position. Ben Simmons is a freak of nature point guard. 56 drafting points, like I said, in that game. Uh, whenever he's getting over 30 minutes, like the, I said, in these games are competitive. He's been able to have huge games against Charlotte. He dropped 59. Orlando and Memphis, two blowouts there. So wasn't able to reach that huge upside. Against Brooklyn, another close game. 55 drafting points. So as you see here, whenever he's getting 
ahead in the 30 plus minutes. He's pretty much dropping 45 drafting points plus, and that's exactly what we need for five times value. So I think Ben Simmons will have a great game here against Denver. The point guard against them, definitely where you want to attack them. So lock him in there. And it's great that he has point guard and small forward eligibility. And for my second guy, Blake the Snake Griffin. I love the, the way this guy is playing recently. He's finally showing everything he's capable of on Denver. He's a solid rebounder, and he's great with the ball in his hands. And that's just great for DraftKings. It makes me just want to go him even more with this triple-double upside, similar to Ben Simmons, can fill it up in every category. So against the Lakers here, back to, oh, well, not back to home base. I guess it's still in Detroit. But uh, against the Lakers here, and like I said, an up-tempo game. Should be a good one. He's played very well against the Lakers this year in three games, averaging 48 drafting points. I believe all those games he was on the Clippers, and his usage wasn't as high, really, on uh, the Lakers compared to Detroit. Pretty similar, though. But I feel like he's just been getting a few more rebounds and a few more assists here in Detroit, especially as of late. In these upper tempo games, like against Houston, against Phoenix, we saw the last few times, he's definitely benefited with over 55 drafting points in both those games. So going back against the Lakers here, I uh, he didn't get that many minutes against Chicago. That game turned into a blowout. I think he should be able to get like 30 to 40 minutes in this game and definitely be the go-to guy against the Lakers. Uh, kind of an undersized team, especially when Brook Lopez sees less minutes, uh, but they're pretty bad down low. So I think Blake Griffin can get it done in the post and everything like that against this team. So lock him in there. And for my third guy, Al Horford going against Phoenix. That's a dream matchup for any power forward here. And uh, I might pivot off this. If Marcus Morris is back, uh, they're saying that he's probably not going to be back for tonight. So I'm just assuming he's going to be out. But Al Horford, without Marcus Morris and with all, all the weapons they have, uh, with Kyrie out, um, Jalen uh, Jalen Brown just came back, but he's still only got 25 minutes yesterday. Coming off the concussion, I'm not sure if we'll be like fully com uh, cleared for 30 plus minutes in this game. But Al Horford, just a great spot for him in general. When the guy puts up points on the board, he normally is returning good value. That's the one thing that holds him back is that point scoring ability. And against Phoenix, he should have no trouble of doing that. We saw against Phoenix early this year, he dropped 40 drafting points, a nice double-double there. And that's the thing with, with Phoenix. So these big men that can pass have been able to get good assists against these teams. Like I mentioned with Aaron Gordon the other night, he was almost, uh, I think he got a double-double with, uh, yeah, he got a double-double with uh, rebounds and points. And he was very close to a triple-double with assists. So Al Horford and... Um, uh, Blake Griffin that almost got a triple-double against Phoenix as well. So guys that have similar capabilities can score a bit, can definitely rebound and pass. So Al Horford, honestly, he could flirt with a uh, with triple-double in this game against Phoenix. If it does stay close, he played very well last night. Uh, against, who do they play? Against Sacramento. A similar matchup. They struggle down low. And it should be a faster-paced game, meaning Al Horford might get some more run at the center, <clears throat> at the center in this game. So Al Horford, 6,300, great spot there, lock him in. And for my fourth guy, Andrew Harrison here at 5,200. This guy, whenever he gets over 30 minutes, he's dropping huge numbers. Against the Lakers last game, 40 minutes, I mean 40 drafting points. Against Brooklyn, 34, Phoenix, 43. Boston 32. Whenever he's just getting that start and getting the extra run, he's been putting up digits. In this game, he should be able to get that start here where Tyreek Evans already ruled out uh, and get over 30 minutes and a good matchup against Minnesota as well. Jeff Teague, not a great defender. So I think Andrew Harrison is in for another big game here. His usage has been very good when he's been getting that starting point guard role, especially without Tyreek Evans. So Andrew Harrison, I think he'll be able to go over 30 drafting points yet again and a nice price at only 5,200. So lock him in there. And for my fourth guy, Kyle Kuzma, I mentioned these young studs on the Lakers. is getting an absurd amount of minutes. Look at this. Kyle Kuzma, 41 and 43 minutes the last two games. Insane stuff. And against Detroit, Stanley Johnson got hurt last game. Probably their best defender, honestly, or maybe him and Drummond, the two best defenders. But he's been playing very well on defense this year, and he's their small forward there. So if he is out for this game, then it's going to be fire away for Kuzma. He's going to absolutely go bananas, I think, in this game. And against Detroit earlier this year, he came off the bench in this game, uh, 19 minutes, and he got 30 drafting points. So if we try to expand that out, add double that, he could be on pace for 60 if you kind of expand it out. But that's not how it really works. But he was definitely on fire in that limited minutes against Detroit there. Uh, and he's been shooting better from three on the road for whatever reason. So I think he can definitely uh, shoot well against Detroit. They aren't great. 
um, defending the three and especially aren't great defending the small four without Stanley Johnson and with 40 plus minutes on the plate for Kyle Kuzma. I think it's going to be a great game for him. So definitely lock him in there. He can have 40 plus upside yet again. So those are the five plays. You got Ben Simmons, Andrew Harrison, Kyle Kuzma, Blake Griffin, and Al Horford, your top five there. And for my money play of the day, lottery pick, Reggie Jackson is a guy I think can get some extra minutes here in a dream matchup against the Lakers. They've been struggling a lot against point guards recently. I mentioned Andrew Harrison dropping 40 last game against them. And I, I, don't, I can't remember exactly who played the Lakers the game before that, but I know they had a huge game as a point guard. So Reggie Jackson, if you look at the minutes trend, he came off the injury, only got 15 minutes against Phoenix. Not what we're looking for. 20 minutes against Houston, not too bad. And then 22 minutes against Chicago, definitely a little bit more approachable there. So with that trend, we see a, uh, five minutes going out, then two minutes. I think it'll get closer to 20 to 25 minutes by the uh, kind of guess right here. We'll probably get more word on it before lock. If they say it's like 15 to 20 again, so I'll probably pivot off him if they do say that. But if they say it's closer to uh, 25 in this game, I think Reggie Jackson will be a great play against the Lakers. Like I said, they've been struggling a lot against point guards, probably because Alonzo Ball is playing like 40 minutes a game and he's getting a little bit tired and doesn't want to play much defense. And earlier this year, when he did play the Lakers, he had a very good game, 37 drafting points in that one. So Reggie Jackson coming back off the injury. Looks like he kind of shaked off the, the rust last game against Chicago. Good spot for him. Lock him in there. But like always, guys, I'll pivot off any of these guys if I need to on my Twitter at MoneyWebby, so definitely follow me there if you haven't already. And that is it. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Drop the like if you uh, haven't already. Greatly appreciate it. And also is my birthday today on Monday, turning 23. It's my Jordan year, so we'll try to kick off the Jordan year with a bang with some basketball fire. Hopefully, hopefully all these plays work out. So very excited about that. Hopefully you have a good one. I can celebrate the birthday with some money on DraftKings. And definitely subscribe if you haven't already to get these plays every single day. And also hit that little bell uh, icon to get notified every time I upload. I know that some people don't get alerted when I do upload if you don't have that kind of hit. So that can definitely help you out to get alerted. And we got MLB season coming right around the corner. I believe it starts on Thursday, if I want to say correctly. So that is a few days away. I'll be at, I'll be uh, making videos every single day for my favorite pitchers. Uh, three of my favorite batters and maybe a cheap guy or something like that as well so very excited about that can't wait for that let's have a good night here tonight monday night comment your uh, drafting username as well in the video comments and i'll add you into that tournament if you want to win some money there tonight so good luck tonight guys and we'll see you back here again tomorrow